Hello fellow survivors, today we're going to look at some creative base building from the Long Dark community. This is from the All Your Bases Belong to Us tournament, which was organized by two Long Dark streamers called Long Dark Forever, you can tell he likes the Long Dark with that name, and Glittered Kitten. The way this worked was that there was certain rules that you had to do to get a specific amount of loot and put it in one base. I participated myself in this, but I never set out to really win the creative base building part, which we're going to look at today. So the way this works is there's a whole bunch of different streamers, and they all built uh, their own creative bases. Some of them are really crazy, and we're going to look at some of them today. And uh, if you're wondering what happened to my run, those of you who have been following my stream, and my videos. I uh, did three parts on YouTube, but then it kind of stopped. And the reason that happened is because I suddenly realized I was out of time and I just started running around trying to finish in time. And uh, it, it wasn't really worth sharing the VOD because it was just me running about killing rabbits and placing cash. And that's not so interesting. So we're going to look at today instead are the, are the most creative bases from the tournament. Uh, I'm not going to show all the bases from all the participants, but I will show the ones that had the most creative uh, or interesting build that I think will be fun to see. Just a disclaimer that I did get some of this footage from the VOD from the tournament announcement stream by Long Dark Forever. So some of the quality will be lower than others. And in some cases I was able to procure the original footage. So we're gonna go through some of those bases. Uh, and at the end, I'll also announce the winners and show one extra clip. Uh, this tournament was for charity, which means that you didn't win any money. Uh, the organizers gave money to an animal rescue center, and then the donations that came in also went to this uh, rescue center, and in total it was over $1,000 raised. And some streamers also got some additional money that they gave to the charity. Now let's have a look at the streamers. So what some people did is that they made a base where the actual interior of the base wasn't necessarily that interesting to watch, but what happened outside was very creative. Here we have Deadbug UK, and he did a outline of a bear in the snow, which is really crazy. Uh, if I had to make this in the long dog, I wouldn't even know where to begin making this. And they're all from torches, meaning he had to make a whole bunch of torches from campfires in order to place this down. And this is, this is just really impressive. And he's also added how much money he raised for charity on the side. We got a bear! We got a nighttime bear! So on the left, it tells you how much you guys raised. So over the four streams, and there's a moose over there as well. Another damn moose. You guys raised $151 for charity. <laughs> <laughs> you guys absolutely rock. Uh, there were also several bases that were just generally creative in terms of how they uh, stockpiled or placed something, some sort of text on the ground. Here we have the lovely Rand Alpha who wrote down welcome <laughs> and the snow, uh, which is just welcome into his lovely base. And his own uh, interior decorating skill with stacking is also quite impressive in, in this case. Everything you could possibly want to survive, what, maybe a year? Uh, there are several other streamers who also had uh, interiors that were quite impressive. I'm not going to show all of them. But here's Babaginator, who uh, decorated the interior of the Quonset Garage, which is quite a popular activity to do, although this one is very neatly organized. And you can see all the different things he stacked on the shelf. So you can kind of imagine what the garage would look like if it was actually stocked <laughs> and not not in an apocalypse. And, uh, and along the same line, there was one streamer called Fangirl Mel who decided to make a coffee and tea shop uh, that also sells uh, meat. Come over here, you can find our lovely sign. So our business is tea and meat. <laughs> and she kind of made it like a tourist destination where you could come and you could rent sleeping bags and go out on the ice and this sort of thing. And once you get inside of her base, she has a little coffee shop set up and um, you can buy teas and coffees in here. So it's kind of cute. 
Now, moving on to something a bit more dark, there are some uh, base builders who put uh, signals down. So Chip Ninja made a signal fire of his own on Timberwolf Mountain Crystal Lake. The idea was to signal a rescue helicopter or plane to see the signal and then come to rescue him. And a lot of neat use of lighting here, as well as a very nicely stocked base inside. He also made the SOS sign in the snow, which <laughs> is uh, quite cool. Imagine being rescued at this point in, in the survival run. Uh, the streamer Hambound made the same thing. He made a SOS sign on the ground, but fortunately also his interior is well stocked with medicine. So in case he doesn't get rescued, yeah, he'll be fine <laughs> surviving the apocalypse in terms of medicine, that's for sure. <laughs> It's got all of our canned goods and water that we need to survive. And coffee and tea and sodas. And the tomato soup to go with the crackers. Uh, some streamers made some kind of unique bases with a sort of airy or religious undertone. And I'm going to show you Thomasina's base now. And I think I'll just let this play for itself because you'll get the, the idea. Another ten. Bear me. And here we come to pay our respects to the holy fire log. The holy firelock spirit moved within the oboe. It took no teaching. Thomasina's base is very creative. In addition to being stocked, she also added some drinks and food in case, you know, the worshippers were to get hungry or thirsty during service. So that's very nice. <laughs> uh, the streamer Sword and Leaf uh, also did a similar thing where he decorated the outside of the church and even added like a little playground activity in the back, which is kind of neat, as well as an interior with a bunch of books thrown around and that sort of thing. Perhaps not as, uh, let's say, worshipy as the Thomasina, but definitely on the creative side as well. And uh, along a similar line, but a little bit more airy, is a streamer called Nogatron, who basically lit up the stone church in Desolation Point during Aurora with his own lanterns and fire. And he also made <laughs> a figure outside that was a uh, kind of a creepy looking thing, but I'll let him explain it with his own words. What is a church without an angel? I created a TLD angel using birch, saplings, broken arrows, crow feathers, some clothing, and in this case, a distress pistol as well. He also recreated the tin of sardines inside using meticulous stacking technique. But if you look at the colors and the shapes, you may notice that it does kind of look like this. You've got the sort of darker blue surrounding the lighter blue of the fish, brown on the top and the bottom of the fish, and then pretty much silver everywhere else except for that white outline. And so that's what I tried to do here. Along the same vein, there are other streamers who also made sort of like spooky looking things. A curiosity to mention one of the things she did, she made her own um, uh, pet cemetery type of circle from Stephen King, which is definitely very well put together. Some of the stuff that these streamers came up with in terms of building signs is, is very, very creative. It would take a lot of effort to place these things like that. Hello. And welcome to Curiosity's Camp Crystal Lake. Uh, and have turned it into a horror exhibit. Right here we have the woods from the Blair Witch. And the campfire of those poor campers. Uh, moving on we have the skin suit that Buffalo Bill was working on. In Silence of the Lambs. To the left here we have the bed from the exorcist. You can see the cross and the Bible that the priest used. 
and the ropes that they used to tie up that poor girl. Here we have the bed from Misery, where that poor author was kept captive by Annie Wilkes, the heavy hammer that she used to hobble him, and the pills that he was hiding away from her. We have Pennywise's balloon and his hands peeking up from underneath. We have my personal favorite, which is the pet cemetery. Get it? Because it's made of meat. <laughs> Here's the pet cemetery from Stephen King's Pet Cemetery. You can see the spiral in the middle made of coal and all the different graves made of meat. And then finally, even though I would love to show all the bases from the tournament, I'm just focusing on the most unique ones there. We have a very unusual thing from Melky Studio and an art piece, as she calls it, where she has Will and Astrid on the ice. And this whole thing actually is one big art installation, uh, which those of you who are into art will recognize what it is. And I think I'll just let her explain it herself. The main characters are Astrid fighting the wolves. Will dancing with the bear. The moon of coal. The rabbits and deer chilling in the back country. And if you want to get up to have a better view of the main piece, there it is. This is not a base. So that was it for some of the more uh, inventive bases from this tournament. It was very cool, very well uh, created by the community organized by Long Dark Forever and Glitter Kitten. If you're wondering about my own run, I did finish the base, but I did not decorate it anywhere near as nice as this, so it wasn't really worth showcasing in any kind of detail. Now, before we go, uh, I thought I'd show one more base, which is uh, very creative and scary from a streamer called Conky. Uh, he also does sometimes does speed runs if you're into that, and you should check that out. He did the crazy idea of making his base inside the Aurora mine in Coastal Highway, which you can only access during the Aurora. And it's all set up, and this whole atmosphere for the space is kind of airy and creepy, and he does a really good job presenting it. So I think I'm just going to end this video with him doing it in his own way, in his own words, and I'll just let his clips play. And until then, I'll see you next time, survivors. Enjoy the bases, and thank you so much to the amazing Long Dark community for both organizing this event and being so creative in what they've put together. See you next time, survivors. All right, so let's begin our tour. Uh, outside here, I made the long dark logo hatchet out of cattails. We have all of our bear meat and coal set up as a pathway all up here. All our deer meat right here. All this flashlight should be on. That's fine. Wolf meat in rows here. As well as our 10 wolf hides. Let's go inside. Anyway, moving on. Around here we have our fire shelf. All your fire starting needs. Several matches, torches, fuel, lanterns, some extra matches here, and a pathway matches here. Down here we have entrance to our interloper only section. This is supposed to be lit up more. Is that says hi. Oh, actually, I'm going to need to light this up. Here we go. Our cattails, 25 cattails, are laid out here. It says hi. And our doorman. Wait a minute, where's the doorman? What is this? Uh-oh, he's missing in action. Well, you know what? If he's not watching the door, we can sneak down here.
This is supposed to be the interloper only section. I'm not supposed to be down here. Not in this difficulty. I haven't been down here in a while. What is all this? I'm not going over there. That looks dangerous. Yeah, no, we'll stay over here. Oh my. Looks like there must be 20 cans of food there and about 20 liters of water. A couple extra hacksaws, knives, full storm lantern. Wow. 